Spirit can listen, if you could just say hello and your name, and this will make sure we can hear you. Hello. My name is Maxine Elliot Collins Johnson. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I can hear some background. You can hear them. You can hear them. Or when she speaks, can you hear them over there? A little. A little. They may be able to filter that out, too. We'll try to work in between. We may need to run down there and tell them to kind of bring it down a little bit. Um, well, Ms. Johnson, how are you doing today? Fine. Thanks for passing. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for your patience this morning and waiting to come in here. Um, I'm Hillary, so I'll be asking the questions for you today, and this is my friend Maddie. And we're really delighted that you can come in and record your history with us. Um, NSU students will be utilizing it, and then it'll become part of the permanent collection of digital files here for the museum, so we're very excited about that. So since we did um, the sound check, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself again, and then uh, we're going to go into the questions. Is that all right? Yes. All right. My name is Maxine Johnson Collins Edney Johnson. Wonderful. I was born to Johnson, and I've married to Johnson. Mm -hmm. Last marriage. Wonderful. Um, and which years did you attend here at uh, Princess Anne County Training School, Union Kempsville High School? I graduated in 1944. 1944. Wonderful. And was it still under Princess Anne County Training School, or had it converted to Union Kempsville by then? Princess Anne County Training School. It was still in 1944. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your family, please. My family, and my, we were born in Virginia, uh, Princess Anne County at that particular time. And uh, my grandfather on my mother's side and my grandfather on my daddy's side were all originals, you know, of uh, Princess Anne County. And where in Princess Anne County were you living when you were growing up here? Oh, I lived off of Kempsville Road. At that time, it was Road 2, you know, they had it there. And then uh, Stumpy Lake got our property extended all the way over there. And uh, we had to travel through woods, hills, and all of that to get to the school three miles or more. Daily. And did you did you walk? How did you walk, or were there were there there oh, no. uh, bus <laughs> service? There was there no, bus service. Tell us a little bit they, about how you got to oh, school. We walk. We walk through the school, through the woods. Was, I know about three miles until we got to Indian River Road, mm -hmm. and then we walked another maybe mile from the, the cemetery there to. Uh, the school, and we uh, attended a tense hall. They didn't, have a, they didn't have a school for us. They had buses for, you know, not 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 us. So that's some dedication to your education, walking four miles, even when it was bad weather. Hmm? Definitely. Definitely. Wow. Um, our next question is, what was your educational experience before attending Princess Anne County Training School? I uh, attended the tent, you know, the house, and they wanted a better education for me. So I didn't have a transcript. I went to New York, PS 136, and after there, I... Uh, came back to Princess Anne County, and that's when I picked up the training school. Okay. So your family moved? No, I'm relatives there. Relatives there. They sent you up to live with yeah, relatives? Yeah, better education. Yeah. Okay, so that's really interesting. So your family felt you needed a better education, and they needed to move you up to New York to relatives yes. to attend public school there, yes. and then come back to go to Prince. Tell us a little bit about that transition after coming back from the experience in New York. What was it like to come back to Princess Anne County and attend school 
with the way things were here. Well, it was a difference, but it, the experience was, you know, good for me. Um, very helpful. And made me more braver and stronger. Because here it was a little bit different um, as far as being who I am. <laughs> But it was a pleasure coming back when I was stronger, more knowledgeable. It was just nice. And I could contribute to some of the things that I learned in New York here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us a little bit about your experience at Princess Anne County Training School. What was life like um, inside the school on, your da on a daily basis when you were here? It was quite enjoyable. Everyone was concerned about, you know, the person loved me. I have no complaints. They all were interested in helping us become a better person. They were dedicated. Were you involved in some of the extracurricular activities here yes, at PAX? Yes, I was. I um, formed a little group called the RCDs. Mm -hmm. Three of us, and we used to go to the school um, and perform. I was doing more time, and we sang the Andrew Sisters song. We imitated all the singers, and we really enjoyed. We had an enjoyable time. We got along fine. And, uh, so I enjoyed coming back, and I think in some of my things were helpful. I couldn't. I don't have a voice, but. I would try. <laughs> so my uh, uh, Mr. Five by Five, he's five feet tall and he's five feet wide. <laughs> oh, and we three sisters, and we imitated some of the uh, you know, wartime singers. You know. When the lights come on again all over the world and the boys would be home all over the world. It was, it was really enjoyable. Those are some beautiful memories. Um, what was your? Do you remember your? Do you remember your first day coming to PAX, coming to Princess Anne County Training School? I can't remember the very first day, but I was received well. The principal at that time was Mr. Thaddeus Smith, and uh, I met him. And I, I could, you know, I was very knowledgeable of certain things, and seeing like sometimes they thought that I was being, <laughs> I know all, <laughs> but I was just expressing my experience. Yeah. Very good. Um, and why, why did you want to go to this particular high school? Which one? Uh, Prince Sam County Training School. Why did I want to go? It, it's, it, one of the questions I hear is, why did you, it sounds to me like you wanted an education. You went all the way to New York for an education, uh, but of course you want to, so. Um, I had no other choice. You had no other choice. Yeah. Right. Now, and when you were there, you were class of 1944, so this was the only school, yes? Yes, it was. Um, and do you, what, you said you formed your singing group here, yes. and um, what was your typical day like here when you weren't doing singing group? Was you, it was school structured sort of the same way it is now with a bell system, or um, you know have different classes? Like what what was your average day at Prince Anne County Training School? Uh, every day, daily we had bus drivers. We had two, Mr. Grimstead and Miss Cartwright, and we get on the bus. You travel home, get there, and that's it. Come back for the next day. And did you um, have different classes that you took while you were here? What were some of your favorite classes? Uh, we had my homeroom teacher at Carlton, Mr. Robinson, he was my homeroom teacher. I was trying to remember what he taught, but we had uh, Miss Betty Williams, Forbes, was a history teacher, and Hattie Goodman. Was I, um, a brilliant English teacher. She was great. She was very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And I had Mrs. Frederick Roger was home teacher. Mm -hmm. What was the subject you felt you were the very best at? 
I don't know. I, I would I, I would say the best that I was interested in all, but to my uh, surprise, when I graduated, they gave me a medal pen of dramatics, and that was astonishing. I didn't know that, but anyway. So you had an inner performer in you. You had a, a group that you formed, and they must have seen that spark there. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But um, I like to be in pro things. Yeah, I wasn't shy. I was, mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. What was life like for the average teenager when you were here in 1944 um, and beforehand? What was it like to be a teenager growing up in Princess Anne County? We didn't have too, you know, too much going for us. But anyway, we we sustained. I did where I live. I didn't have any neighbors. My father had a friend. I didn't have any girlfriends or anything. You know, the, we had to go to Norfolk. My aunt lived in Norfolk around uh, Booker T. Washington High School. And that's where I got acquainted with different girls. Mm -hmm. you know, and I commend to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I imagine um, living on farmland with 35 acres, you, your nearest neighbor's pretty, a lot further than a stone's throw, right? So, right, right. Um, what, did, what did it mean to you to have uh, black teachers and school administrators? Oh, huh? At that time, really, I didn't have a problem. It didn't, it didn't bother me to think about it too much, but I was proud of my people, <laughs> and they were concerned. That's the thing. They always gave us good advice. I like that about them. They were concerned. Yes. Yes, because I think my understanding is this was the very first and only school where they were even employed. Uh, here at Princess Anne County, you know, until segre until integration came later. Right. Um, so that would have been um, not the usual thing in Virginia. Correct. Um, Definitely. Yes. And so it, it made an impression on you in, in the way that they cared about you and gave you the advice? Well, at that time, it did, you know, how, how you feel, <laughs> how you were treated and everything. But that, I didn't let that bother me. I kept on trying for a long time, and I received it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I attended schools in North Alari and Titus. I, they wanted a better education for me. And my grandmother, her penmanship was like she and Dee Dee Jacob. Mm. They went to school together. So I had her background, but she was good. Her penmanship was was better than but mine is today. But I didn't know where to get her background, but I do know Jacob, she and Jacob. Wow. Very good. Uh, can you tell us, um, that's an interesting question. Uh, the next question is, tell us what lunch was like. Well, at lunch, I remember at UK, uh, Mrs. Betty Farms would have hot dogs and served them. That's what we ate. That's the only thing I can really remember, you know, eating. But we, 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 so no, I was, we were happy. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't have any feelings of, again, you know, not happy. I went with the flow, accepted and vibe in the situation. I was happy. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't treated. I, I didn't at that time, you know, have, you, at the moment you sort of resent that, but mm -hmm. we maintained yeah. for a better day. And I, I got that when I went to North. I went to attended Larry and Titus. Mm -hmm. I attended quite a few to better. They wanted the best. For me. Mm -hmm. And I, I definitely appreciate it. They were about education. Mm -hmm. My dad is education. Mm -hmm. He didn't go too far, you know. But anyway, what he had, he used it to help.
of our Sahara better. He, he yeah. put that effort into you. Yes, yes. definitely. Yes. It's a lot of love. Yes. Any more questions? Let's see, what's a one that makes sense? Um, so we have a few different questions left. If I ask you one that you feel comfortable answering, please feel free to answer it. If, if any of these questions are questions you'd rather not answer, you just say pass and we'll try a different one because I've got time for one more question. Um, so there are some questions about school subjects or periods and then there are, I think maybe the two sort of um, yeah, more challenging, there's three more challenging questions. So I have a question about um, how white and black teachers may have been treated differently, but I also have a question about um, how PACT's uh, Prince Anne County Training School impacted your life, or I have a question about whether or not you faced any resistance or backlash for attending the school. Is there one of those that you might like to tackle? No, I, I don't. Okay, so then how about I ask you about um, something a little more fun. Um, how about, did you have um, a study hall or a free period? And did you do, what were some of the things you did during those study halls or free periods? Yes, we had study hall. And I remember our principal, Mr. Smith, we had study hall. And we discussed things, and <laughs> it was funny to say by going north, attending PS 136, <laughs> I expressed all my thoughts, <laughs> and they made comments about my knowledge. I, I, what I knew, I expressed it. <laughs> but other than that, things went well. <laughs> how important was school spirit to you? Were you very proud of the school? How important was school spirit? Very, very. very. I, 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 I love the spirit. I, I wanted to be involved. And I wanted to be kind to everyone. I had that in a hospital, my hospitality. I think that's my calling. I like people. I like to be helpful. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us um, that you feel would be really important for um, to, to sort of preserve a piece of your story or a piece of your experience here that we haven't asked you about that maybe you wish we'd asked you about? Oh, I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but I, I would say to people, be true to yourself. Did you receive any Try to be with the right people and we want wisdom and knowledge. You know, you know it's, we need to do more reading. And I won't bring in religion, but anyway, we all got, we're going to bring, leave that out. But anyway, be strong. Take a stand, be true to yourself and your fellow man. Be honest. Be honest. That's a very, very very solid piece of wisdom to pass down and give to, especially a lot of the young um, NSU students that will be observing this video and some of the other students that we'll be working with. It's very wise advice. Thank you. Thank you very much for being Thank with us today. Stephanie's fingerprint. Um, okay. Let's get started. One minute. 